Okay, hi guys, you're never going to believe this. I'm standing on uh, Rotterdam Central Station right now. And uh, this is the third time in a row that something went wrong. <laughs> in the Tele train, I don't know if you, you know that, uh, last month there was something wrong with it. Uh, some guy with a gun was, uh, was shooting everywhere and everything. And now there was the same guy, there was another guy in that train and uh, he didn't have a ticket. He uh, just ran to the toilets and now everything is closed up. Look at this. It's just closed off. Like, seriously, no train is going anywhere, is departing, nothing is going. They even uh, put in dogs for bombs because he, I don't know what's the truth, but I heard, heard that he said that, that he had a bomb. They got him. Uh, they. Uh, they called a helicopter for support and everything and uh, they put in dogs like I said they even put in the Marines like what the hell and I'm not quite sure what's going on but I what I do know is that uh, the train station is still closed off so everybody is standing on on, on this side of the station and, the, on, and at the other side of the station and uh, yeah no one can go in so no train for me I guess great Third week in a row, guys. All right, so I've been told that a train station further, there are going trains, departing trains, so I'm going there now. Then. All right, so I'm in the subway. Um, I've been told, luckily, that the guy, uh, the suspect is, they, they got him, they arrested him. I don't know what's going on, who he was, or where he, where he is now. Um, but now I'm in the subway, waiting for it to depart, and then I can get my train and now uh, we'll, I see you guys there, I guess. Alright, so I'm here. My train actually departs. There's very little trains that go, but my train goes. Uh, but I have to wait for 10, min 10 minutes longer now. And it's very crowded in here. Nothing goes. Absolutely nothing goes. It's ridiculous. But my train goes, so uh, let's wait for 10 minutes, I guess. My intercity train had a very strange time to depart actually and um, now I'm waiting for my other train but this is this sucks because it departed one minute ago that means I have to wait 30 minutes <sighs> shit man I have had enough of this day luckily it's Friday so there's two things I can do I can take the train that comes before my train and then I have to wait 30 minutes uh, on my bus or I will wait here 30 minutes for my train and I wait 10 minutes for the bus so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do uh, but I have to do something and I think I'm going to take this train and wait 30 minutes on the bus I think I'm, that's what I'm going to do I have to wait 30 minutes and uh, on, my, on my bus actually and I'm hungry and I really need to go to the bathroom <laughs> right now. Yeah, it's been hectic, man. It's, it's ridiculous. It's the third uh, week in a row, actually. Third Friday in a row that I have problems with the trains. Two weeks ago, I missed everything. Like every transport you can think about. Last week, uh, someone jumped in front of the train. And this week, well today, actually, someone terrorized it. Uh, so the police, well, they circled around the train. Everyone has to get out, except for him, of course, because he locked himself in. And they tried to communicate with him, and uh, he didn't say anything. After that, uh, yeah, it, it was total chaos. Uh, a lot of police came in uh, with guns, with big, big-ass guns. Uh, the Marines came in, they, they, uh, they called a helicopter and dogs like like bomb dogs or something and uh, even the explosive guys who uh, who can clean that up you know what i mean so uh yeah that's actually what happened and um, because of that there's still nothing going from or go to rotterdam central station love living in rotterdam really love it Arr. bus driver man Oh my gosh, he was very, very annoying. He was like 
driving, foot on the on the gas, foot off the gas, foot on the gas, foot off the gas, foot on the gas, foot off the gas every single time. It was very annoying because you get you get very seasick and uh, it's it's cold, man. Oh my gosh. You know what's funny and sad at the same time? The fact that someone asks you or someone else a question in in English because they don't speak the the language of this country and that the man he asked it to answers in in his language in this case Dutch <laughs> like it's funny to hear because the man is like do you know which bus I need to take I don't know where to go and that the man just answers like oh yeah the even kijken that was Dutch you know it's funny to see but at the same time it's very very sad because that man was like he was like over 50 years old and if you don't speak English at that age I'm sorry but that's very sad and there was a wedding going on I saw out of the window of the bus there was a wedding I'm not quite sure how I think about marrying I don't want to get married I think I mean if you love each other then you love each other and you don't need to get married for that in my eyes if you separate love can always vanish it just Sometimes you just grow apart, you know, you don't have to uh, screw each other up every time. But if you grow apart and you want to get divorced, you, first you have to get paid a lot of money to get married. Then you have to pay a lot of money to get divorced. And after that, you have to split your things. So you get screwed up there. No, no marriage for me, no marriage for me. If I don't like you anymore, then I just want to leave and I don't want to pay money to get away from you, you know what I mean? Can you hear that wind? Gosh, it's, it's really bad. Look at the sky. I think it's about to rain again. It's been raining for the past three weeks now, every single day. I'm so hungry. When I come home, I go to eat. A whole horse, I guess. All right, so look at this. You see that? That is a soap. And uh, I, am, I have school of course. And I, uh, I'm going to college. And this is what we did today in, the cl in class. We had to bring a soap. Just, just a round soap. And then we had to stuff it with fibers. Just creative acting or something. I have no idea. Next lesson we're going to draw. This is college, for Christ's sake, and not kindergarten. So this is where I uh, pay money for, for making uh, fiber balls out of soaps. Yeah, I look a little uh, weird, like a homeless people. <laughs> Thank you, and till next time. Bye!